Yo, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Um, I'm feeling refreshed today. Got to go to the gym this morning. I did an hour at the gym, so I feel pretty good. You know, you know. most times when you go to the gym, uh, sometimes you may feel like a little bit of tightness, a little bit of soreness. But today, it feels like that a lot of like, you know, like my back pain, my knots were completely stretched out and worked out good, worked out properly. So um, I feel... 100% better rather than feeling sore. But anyways, enough of that. Um, so last night I decided to take the plunge. I downgraded my Pixel 6a from Android 15 beta 1.1 back to uh, Android 14. Um, and then I decided to flash the Evo X ROM on the Google Pixel 6a, which you guys will see a screen grab of what it kind of just looks like but you know to be like in all fairness i feel like that you know what um because i mean I, I used to flash custom roms all the time it was never like you know it's never an issue um but seeing as you know what what custom roms can do today you know just kind of like jogs up like the old memories of just like how cool it was and just uh better android experience for me um when it comes to rom on my device so i put the uh evolution x it's android 14 based uh it's got a lot of customizations in it it's got a lot of cool nifty features one of the cool things that you know i did notice was that um and you'll see it somewhere on the screen grab the screen grab's not going to be in sync with what i'm talking about but you should see it just look out for it but um there is a, a way to like, you know, force carrier aggregation in uh, network settings. Like you got like all these little nifty things, voice over NR uh, if supported, but you can toggle that on. And um, yeah, you got like, you know, the uh, basic customizations. Uh, well, not basic, cause they ain't basic. Like, you can change up the font. Uh, you can change up the, you know, the colorings and everything like that with material U, UI. There's like a lot of things that you could do with this custom ROM. Um, as far as like, you know, visual aesthetics, uh, performance wise, I'm testing that right now. I'm also testing it on my Pixel 5 to do like a battery test to see how battery will handle like with 5G on, um, running it with just LTE only, uh, running it on Wi-Fi only. So that way I can um, report back on the Pixel 5 and how that one's doing. A uh, weird, weird thing though, my Pixel 5 also has a, the very same ROM on it. And the Pixel 5, for some reason, RCS is just not working. But on the Pixel 6a, RCS is working. So that's just like really weird. Um, of course, I will tell you that, you know, if you flash this ROM onto your device, you definitely would have to um, install carrier services. You would download, you would download that from the Play Store. But, but as I was saying, you would definitely have to get that uh, installed, the carrier services. But... Um, everything else seems to be working smooth. Um, cameras working decently. Fingerprint sensor is working pretty good. And a uh, strange enough thing is that it apparently has the 2D, two-dimensional face unlock. So that's really weird. Um, I wouldn't, you know, put it up there and say it's like, you know, um, that's like, you know, super good. I wouldn't, uh, I want to put it there, but yeah, you do have it to, uh, do like, I don't know. Well, let's set it up right now. Cause I haven't set it up yet. And let's just see how good it is. No, it works. Now I'm gonna close my eyes. So you guys have to be open. When I unlock with my eyes closed, I'll try it later with like a picture or something. But anyways, that's yeah, a quick video. Um, kind of just talking about Evolution X on the Pixel 6a. Hopefully, uh, it just unlocks now. Hopefully, um, the uh, team, which I'll have uh, their information in the description, but hopefully the team is working on Android 15 so they can release an Android 15 based Evolution X, which keeps a lot of the same things and uh, customizations. But until next time.